Clemson is back at number two in the Associated Press College Football Poll behind top-ranked Alabama, moving up to where it started. After a convincing victory in Ohio State's first loss of the season, the Crimson Tide are a unanimous number one with all 61 first-place votes. For the first time this season, the Tigers trailed only Alabama in the preseason rankings, but a couple close wins in September, combined with a seemingly impressive performance by other highly ranked teams, dragged Clemson to as low as number four. Coming off a lopsided win against North Carolina State, Clemson rose a spot this week. Notre Dame is number three and LSU is number four, setting the stage for a top five matchup between the Tigers and Crimson Tide. The floor of a clubhouse near Clemson University collapsed during a large private party early Sunday, hurtling dozens of people into the basement. Authorities said about 30 people were taken to the local hospitals after the center of the floor caved in at the clubhouse near the South Carolina University. Clemson City Police said that nobody was trapped and none of the injuries appeared to be life-threatening. The report by the University of Akron's Bliss Institute shows that 45% of 1,000 respondents want Democrats in control of the state versus 47% who favor Republicans. That's a change from the most midterm elections, which are usually difficult for the sitting president's party, according to the Bliss Institute's Dave Cohen. Cohen says that even split is probably because most of the people polled said they're happy with the way things are in Ohio. Lumos is a nonprofit organization that helps disadvantaged children in orphanages around the world be returned to their family or placed in a loving family environment. All money raised will be donated to the author of the Harry Potter series, J.K. Rowling's children's charity called Lumos. The first period class that has the most positive points by the end of the week will win donuts for their class. If you need more information, the link is below. Tickets for Friday night's game will be $8 at the gate. All the seniors out there, on November 1st, there will be the class picture at 10 a.m. Just good. Next Spanish meeting will be in Senior Potts room on October 29th at 2.30 p.m. Bring snacks. Have a nice day. The Indians pulled out a clutch win last week against Tip. Tomorrow night, we go against Troy Trojans. Good luck, guys. Let's look at our fall sports results. Girls volleyball was 8-16, and 16, win and losses. Good job, guys. Girls soccer finished out their season 5-9-3. and three. Good job out there, girls. Boys soccer finished their season 3-12-1. Good job, guys. Girls golf finished their season 8-7. and seven. Good job out there, guys. Girls tennis finished their season 7-9. and nine. Good job, guys. What's up guys? Happy Halloweener. We're out here. We're gonna have some people trying some Halloweeners and seeing what they think. How are they? Yeah, that's how good they are. So I'm here with Clavanze today and uh, he's gonna try the barbecue flavored Halloweeners. Um, yeah, take one. Let's see what you think. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
<laughs> what do you think? Uh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Name? Draven. Wiener? Sure, why not? It's not bad. It isn't bad. I'm hungry, man. Come on. <laughs> hey, I'm here with Tyrese today, and uh, he's gonna try these barbecue flavored Halloweeners. You like them? Yep, 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 yep. All right, so I'm here with Quincy today, and uh, he's gonna um, try um, our barbecue flavored Halloweeners. What do you think? Garbage. They are garbage. I'm here with Lauren, and today she wants to try some smoked Halloweeners. Delicious. Um, how does it feel in your mouth? Very hot. Very hot. All right, Kyle. So it's Halloweener time. So I'm gonna need you to try one of my Halloweeners. How's it taste? Juicy. You want another? No. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Trick or treat. It's Frank and me. Uh, so today I'm coming to you with Brian V. Jones. Brian Jones. And he's agreed to try some of our amazing treat, Frank and me. Let's see how he likes it. What do you think? It's actually good. I expect it to be tuna. It's good. Not tuna. What's up? I'm here with Kyle. Well, Kyle, we're going to have you try some of this uh, treat Frank and meat. Just uh, let me know what you think. Go for it. what it tastes like because I'll probably get suspended, but it's not that bad. It isn't that bad. Alright, I'm here with Brandon, aka Chad, and Chad is going to drink the juice. Chad, how's it taste? Tastes great. Chad is the champion. <laughs> Frankenmeat. Happy Halloweeners.